Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to create a function that can return array in Excel. In this video, I'm going to use unique random integer generator as the example. Let's go to developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Firstly, we need a module, so let's insert. Since we are creating a function, so let's start with the word function space, followed by the desired name of this function. For example, unique random generator in short form bracket if you need any argument in terms of value we can use by value followed by the dummy it can be any word or any letter as long as the user would be able to understand easily so for example how many numbers needed so i use the word num and this must be in terms of integer so we define as integer comma followed by the second argument also in terms of value so we have by value and this time i would ask for the minimum value and define as integer since we have minimum of course we need maximum so comma by value for the next argument maximum and define as integer as well close bracket since this function is going to return array so we have to define this function as variate and now let's design this function firstly create an array and define its dimension so we have have team give any name of this array for example the number list we don't have to tell the dimension yet since we are going to refer to how many number the user needed but we cannot start with unknown for the first line so simply let excel know i'm going to have this array so we should define as variate and now we can redefine it the intention of doing so is to avoid any error because excel couldn't have unknown at the first place but it's fine if we redefine the dimension starting from the first value up to the number needed so we have one two num and also define as period since must be in terms of array next i'm going to use a for loop to create the random integers by using a dummy i starting from the first number up to how many number the user need next is to create another dummy let's say random number to record the random integer generated since it's integer so we have to use the row function bracket to generate a random number with range we have to use this method firstly use the minimum value plus bracket the maximum minus the minimum to obtain the range and we times the random generated function in vba comma without any decimal places so we put zero and close bracket next is the time for us to check whether repetition or duplication detected so we need an indicator so i'm going to let it be a and set equal to the worksheet function in order for us to check for common values instead of using the mode function i'm going to use the match function the reason i'm not going to use the mode function is because when no common values an error or call which will then make this function fail so a better way is to use the match function i'm going to match the random number generated compare with the array with all the random numbers collected and the match type must be exactly equal so we have zero close bracket and now make use of this integrator let's create a condition so whenever we have something match the value for sure more than or equal to one if this is the case of course we have to re reset this indicator so that it will be always zero if nothing match not only reinitialize the value a at this point but before running the for loop we have to also make it be equal to zero and now if let's say duplication detected which means that we have to generate the number again in other words back to this line i'm going to name this line as one so what we have to do here is go to line one otherwise that is else we can collect the random integer generated since it's not repeated so we have to store in the array so we have number list bracket use the dummy that we used 
in this for loop. So when it is 1, which means that this is the first integer that we generated, and this integer would be the random number that we generated here. So let it be the dummy. When it's 2, which means it's the second integer. When it's 3, the third integer, and so on. Since we start with if, of course, we need to end with if. Finish the first i, of course, we have to go to the next. Once we have collected all the numbers or the integers needed by the user, we can now return this array by using the function. So we set the function unique random generator be equal to the array that is the num list. And now let's back to the spreadsheet to test for this function. Type equal to the function that we created that is unique random generator. An issue that we usually face is when we use user defined function, we have to guess how many arguments and what kind of arguments should we provide. To overcome this issue, we can press Ctrl Shift A and fill up all the arguments accordingly. Firstly, how many number needed? Let's say we have to generate 10 random integers and the minimum should be starting from 2 while the maximum should be ended at 15. Press enter. Unfortunately, as we can see, we obtain value error. Let's back to Visual Basic. This is because when i is equal to 1, the num list is empty because we have not collected any random integer. To overcome this issue, before matching, we can write this code that is on arrow resume next so that we can skip this line when that is any arrow. Let's back to spreadsheet, select the cell, double click and press enter. And we should now be able to obtain the array with unique random integers. But this is written in the form of row. If we want to return in the form of column, let's back to Visual Basic. Before returning the array, we can make use of the application dot transpose bracket, move to the end and close bracket. Let's Back to the spreadsheet, double click on the cell, press enter again, and we should now be able to have the desired form as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.